Hello and welcome back to Creative Design and Supply. Today we are going to sublimate on a sublimation mat um, available on our website. They are 19 by 31 inches and I am printing from a Sawgrass 500 which is 8.5 by 11. So I did make a quick video before this video to show you how I sliced it and printed it in silhouette. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I'm going to slice this. Let me slide this over. You will need a straight edge and a rotary blade for this. All right, so I'm going to go right over it and I'm going to cut this edge off. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut. And the reason why I'm going around this as much as I am, I'm cutting it. A lot of people like to tear. Um, this is going to be really close to the H and the M. And so, if you if you cut it, say, just like this, there is a good possibility that you could get an edge there. I like to cut to where whenever it lays, it'll have a little bit of a gap. So, say whenever you put adhesive on a cup sometimes and it's too large, for where you're going with it and you cut gaps in between your vinyl. It's kind of like that. So whenever it presses, it's not going to give a harsh line as much. All right. So. And I have found that if I do it this way, I usually don't get... And even though that I did on the baby blanket on the tutorial that I did, um, they were easily brushed out, which was very surprising. Um, only because that was fleece and it wasn't like um, a material that you brush and it has like hair sticking up. All right. So now that I have this, oops. All right, and I gave a little bit of a lip on that one. So I'm gonna come over. All right, so I can turn this over in just a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and I am going to take right here I know it's not much. And then I'm going to flip it over. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I am going to place everything on and we are going to tape it down. Okay. So now I have all of this and I'm going to go ahead. Don't need you. All right. I'm going to cut some of these around so that way it doesn't transfer like I said and I'll be right back all right 
All right. So now I am going to find the center and find the edge so that way I know no, that sounds horrible. Center right here. I'm going to use my H. I'm going to make sure that I have about four inches from the letters. Okay, from the top of the letters. So these need to go down because the H is actually a little bit bigger. Okay, you see where I'm going with that? So I need to add, I need to drop that down just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna bring my tape over. And I'm going to tape the edges. All right, so now I am going to press. Each press is going to be at 385 for 60 seconds. All right, I'm gonna finish taping all this up. Go ahead and And that squeak is because I'm rubbing my fingers down the tape to make sure that I get it on there. Okay. All right, so I think we are pretty good on the taping. And let me move you over and we will get started on pressing. Okay, this is gonna be a little awkward position because this one actually has the swing away and it has the full pull out, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the swing away because I have you right here. I wanna make sure that I get everything in there as I can. So, we are going to press like this. All right, so I have everyone on the mat, okay? And now I am going to go for, like I said, 60 seconds. All right, let's see. Okay. And now I am going to just slide this over. All right. Swing that one that way. There we go. All right. And we are going to do seconds again on this side all right and all right oh how cute If you have any questions, comment below and I will be glad to answer them for you.